So yeah, when you come up test day and you see someone's in your spot, like that's a bad thing. Yeah. They're genuinely hurting your grade. They're hurting so we'll see both themselves and me. If Luna has this here, if he has that familiarity in this building, he's essentially like the, the home team champion defending the belt at his quote unquote home, which is here at the Skillshot Studio for the Winter Royale. We're 20 seconds into this game. Grand Finals game number one. Starting off on Apocalypse, no surprises on the characters. Luna's been playing that Lucian Radish. Of course, he's that Petra guy. There's the side light into the neutral oh. light. What a punish there from Radish, of course. He like was watching. Punishing the recovery with that neutral signature, it seems like that move is the perfect move with the range, the angle that it hits at with the 45 degree angle, the punish on that perfect recovery that came out from Luna, but he didn't have the timing on it. Out came the dodge and the punish from Radish. Not even oh. going to be close. He was oh. too far away. He gave too much yeah. respect to that D-Sig, and that gave Radish plenty of time to then push down. Dude, Radish has been learning. He watched that set earlier with Luna versus Kaina and saw Luna likes to do that chase, dodge, turnaround, recovery. And Radish is like, I have the perfect answer. Spot dodge through it, throw out the end sig. And then when it comes to that edge guard, he's like, so many people go low against this down sig. I'll just follow up with a fast fall down there. And now Radish looking good here in game number one. There's the two piece. Almost gets the two-piece yet again. That neutral air into the recovery, the follow-up. Luna, neutral six the wrong way and ends up getting punished for it. Still hoping to take away this first stock from Radish. Ooh, nice to air, and that will be the KO. Still decent damage put out onto Luna. The gauntlet's in hand. Seeing what Radish is gonna do here. Okay, the D-Light into the down air. Classic option when your opponent is in white health. And good recognition from Luna to know that it wasn't going to go over that corner, instead bounce up. So he ended up getting that Nair, just like an extra tap on it. But the N6 from Radish. Now he has the orb in hand. Simple side air. Oh, oh he gets hit by it. Oh, Luna. Seems like he's starting to fall apart a little bit. I mean, Radish, he's, he's doing such a good job with it. Luna tried to make a change up, right? Last time, he went too low. You called it out. He went too low to avoid that down stick. That time, went a little too high. Has to be careful of the overcorrection. Radish playing a little bit defensively. You're seeing him, like, move away a lot from Luna. Of course, he has the orb in hand, so he has the range. That's why he's zoning with those down airs. Down air, but Luna not able to get the read onto Radish. Radish dodged down and avoided that end sig. There's right. going to be the D-Light recovery for the KO off the top. You saw how careful that Radish was playing because he knew he was super damaged. All it took was going to be a D-Light into the recovery. Even a D-Light side air could set up for the possible edge guard where Luna follows up with yet another side air to clinch that one, maybe even a down air for the spike. So there were a lot of options that Luna could go for to finish that stock off. That's why Radish was playing so cautiously. Ooh, has line of sight for that end sig. Radish maintaining the slight lead that he has over Luna. Did Taza put his predictions like out no. in any official capacity? Okay, then it doesn't, doesn't count. Yeah. I don't want to see him the rest of this weekend though. <laughs> I can't I can't look him in the eyes. Recovery, Luna not able to hit. Side light, side air. Side light from Luna. Ooh. Keeping the pressure. Ooh. I'm loving the movement from Luna oh. here. Gets away from it. Third time's the charm for Luna. And he finds the punish, finds the down sig. Ooh. Can Luna take game number one? That's the tough thing about that sig is oh! a lot of times it's going to bounce off the main platform. Thought that might KO, but that Lucian defense is holding on. Just enough defense to avoid the KO. Falling Sarah misses, oh! but he gets caught that time. And Radish going to take game number one. 622 damage, though. That's a lot. That is 207 and 0.3 repeating course to get the victory there per stock that is a lot of damage luna also had to put out 578 himself but he's playing on lucy and we've come to expect that a little bit more yeah i mean given the fact that uh petra has quite a bit of strength yeah you can see the difference struggle. in the bars there that is a very Three, big difference two, we're going to be coming one, in roll. onto apocalypse first weapon goes the way of radish it's going to be the gauntlets 
Either first weapon seems like it feels pretty good for Luna at this point. I, I don't know if he's if he's worried one way or the other on what he ends up picking up first. I feel like it's a little bit of like a mood thing. Like sometimes he's really into his guitar, sometimes he's really into his blasters play. Right now he's got the blasters in hand. Radish, not overly concerned with swapping weapons. You're not seeing him throw away the gauntlets and then try to wait for the weapon spawn. Instead, he's playing it out, trying to get the hits that he can. There's the side air. Radish getting deeper into the orange. Luna still in the yellow. Nice neutral air. Classic blasters option. Followed by another classic blasters option. Falling Sair from Luna. One more. Ooh, goes Ooh, for recovery. Didn't go for the dare. Interesting choice there. At least when he does that, he uses the recovery and actually touches the wall himself. Yeah. So it's going to reset his jumps in the process. In a lot of ways, it's like the save option. But really, it was like the mix-up, right? He keeps going for that jump dare on the edge. But right now, it's Radish with the orb. Side light, side airs. Needs more to KO. That'll do it. Choice of the weapons, you see the juggling coming out, landing on the orb as Luna makes contact with the ground after spawning back in. There is a weapon spawn here. Luna's able to hop, jump around over to it. Side air is gonna even that one up. We're about a minute and a half into this game and we are very even between these two players. Luna gonna choose to move on to the Qatar's weapon spawn goes right to Radish. And of course, it's that orb. That's twice where Luna tries to do a, uh, I think it's a ledge cancel dash on that soft platform, and Radish just uppercuts him from below, catches him with those unarmed recoveries. Uh, might be a little bit of the obvious movement coming out from Luna, but right now Radish again with the edge guard. Ooh, nice dare, bouncing that one off the wall. Ground pound, no, he's just gonna bounce it off the wall again. That gives him like a nice range in terms of like length, but also like you have a lot of different areas where your opponent can be to still get hit by that orb down air when you bounce it off the wall compared to if he just went for like a ground pound finish. Radish, full stock advantage over Luna right now. Throws away the blasters, wants the guitars for the damage. Soft platform gets in the way a little bit there. Okay, he's finding some serious momentum here. Definitely bringing himself back into this one. He's hunting for that second stock. You see the side air? Okay. Doesn't get hit by that, but again, when you're that far away from it, you're not going to be able to punish in time with the down signature unless, like, Radish makes a massive mistake Whoa. and moves into it, which would be a wild thing for Radish to do. Yo, but that was a nice turnaround at the top of the map from Luna, getting that Sair from behind Radish. But he's still behind. He needs to get this one. Otherwise, Radish is up 2-0 with that winner's advantage. So this could be a Radish Royale. I think Radish coming out on top here could be a massive mental blow to Luna, given the fact that he's down 0-2 with the elimination disadvantage, where he would have to win three in a row and then three more games if he wants to come out on top. But he's doing it here towards the end. He's fighting his way back into it. Got to be careful, though. Side light, side air, maybe twice with KO. There's the Sair. Doesn't put him off screen, but he's got to avoid the edge guard, the dares. Oh, Radish is backing up. Back. Yes, he was looking for that right there. And he takes it. Radish now up 2-0. Luna staring down the barrel of getting 3-0'd by Radish, a player that just Earlier today, he himself 3 0 That has got to be brutal. That has got to be weighing on his mind. Luna has to win three in a row now to get the reset for another best of five. Whatever decision he makes here, he has to stick with. Is it going to be the Lucian or is he digging deep? No, it's the Lucian for game number three of the grand finals winter. Roy Al, will Radish be crowned the champion? Three, two, he saw how one, close that roll. last game was. If he picked another legend, he wouldn't be starting from scratch. There's a foundation built, but he's not ready to live in that house yet. He's got to put up walls, he's got to paint them, he's got to put in carpeting and furniture, but here he has the house built with the Lucene. He's made it this far with the Lucene. He almost took the victory last game to tie up the set. He's made the house, he's made the bed, and now he has to sleep in it. But Radish is taking the brunt of the damage. Luna still manages to follow up, despite the fact that that weapon toss yeah, ended up interrupting. Like, there's there's no way that he 
probably didn't know he was going to get hit by that weapon toss. So I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt, the fact that he's grand finals and the fact that I was uh, one of those haters that he talked about <laughs> for a long time. I'll say that there was a plan there. And it was to eventually get the first stock here. 50 seconds into the game, he didn't throw out the taunt that we saw previously. He didn't throw out a signature. He just stood there. I mean, that's been his way of getting those weapon juggles. He waits for the right opportunity for the weapon or for the opponent to come back. You see the fake out there. Chase dodge forward last time. Raider spot dodged into the end sig, but Luna just baited the spot dodge. Didn't get more off of it. Still chasing after Radish again. Don't work. He, Radish has got to expect that coming out from Luna after that neutral signature if it doesn't make contact. I'm surprised he went for it again, but again, I was one of those haters. I'll give him this one. There was a plan. There's always a plan for someone somewhere, but right now Radish is planning on where he's going to put that crown. He's got two stocks left before he is the Winter Royale champion. Got the bottom side of that D-Light. Okay, Luna's adding up some really good Dodge. damage. Nice. nice. Falling there. Radish does have the movement. He'll get to the outside. Luna also has the movement. He's playing Lucian, baby. Disarmed. Sides oh, in for oh, the no! toss. That's brutal. He still has a massive lead, but you know he wanted to get that stock there. That hurts. He was so close to putting it into a stock lead. Falling Sare gives him the lead. Potential here for Luna to get on the board in the grand final. Radish without a weapon. He's going to be looking for the spawn. It's on the soft platform. He's able to grab it. Going to be the gauntlets. It's quote unquote off weapon. Well, down light. Getting more. Doesn't oh. catch the dodge. Almost got that neutral air. Not extending too far off stage. Doesn't have the orb neutral sig here as the option for Radish on the edge. Okay, Luna's adding up so much damage. He's got Radish in the orange. Weapon toss. Radish. Nice back dash into the neutral light. Down sig. Going to get punished by the ground pound from Radish. That downsig worries me, Duke. I'm, I'm afraid we're going to see Shades of Winter Championship. We've seen him throw games there off the we back go. of six, but it's a recovery to give Luna one of three. He needs two more to get the reset. And you saw the taunt at the end of the game. He's feeling himself a little bit more now. He's getting the momentum in his favor. That game was a huge one. He needed that. Oh, show us the graph. Can we get a, can we get a look at the graph? Look at the graph. Zoom in on that graph. Look, Look at that, at that line. long line. That's a long line for Luna there where he took. I, I, I'm just squinting my eyes. I can just look on my computer. Why am I being a silly Billy? I mean, that's like a third of the game where Luna's yeah. not taking Straight damage. Straight up did not take any damage. And only a small portion of that was Radish respawning. He was able to get that second stock and then start off like a third of the damage on the third stock. Huge comeback from Luna, showing the mental is absolutely intact and fortified. Here we are, game number four. We've seen Radish have impeccable mental as well. Earlier today, he had a rough game one, but ultimately won 3-1. Now, he's still, he's three stocks away from being the champion. Radish, he's just going to sit right in the middle of the stage, wait for Luna to move towards him. What a punish there. Didn't even dash jump that one. He just dashed in in time and used the range of sidelight. We were looking at Kaina before. He was more of the one to dash jump in. Ooh, Luna catches the timing there on Radish as Radish was juggling for a minute there. Ends up leaving himself disarmed. Luna catches him again. The dash forward turnaround. Neutral six, side sig, no weapon to stop that one. Solid lead for Luna. We'll see him when he gets hit next, whether or not he's actually in the red yet. I don't think he is. Now he is. Jumping there. Doesn't catch with the down air. Nice from Radish. Ends up getting that Nair recovery, keeping this one even. Now, one thing that we haven't seen from Radish against Luna that we saw against so many other players that Radish went up against today was those stray siders. Not even the sidelight sider, but just the stray siders on the orb that he was taking out stocks with. He's not finding those as often with Luna. Something about Luna's movement. Maybe he's playing more vertically straight up and down. Maybe he's focusing more on those 45-degree angles. 
that he's not getting caught by those like Kaino was against Radish earlier. Yeah, I think it really is about the positioning, right? Like, Luna's playing pretty vertical. You're seeing a lot of Katar nice. and Aerith come out as he gets the recovery. On the other side, like, Kaino definitely played a grounded game. Uh, the way you get a bunch of dashes is by being on the ground. He's playing that grounded horizontal game against Radish. Man, Luna's really Chase. adding insult to injury here on this final stock of Radish. There's the weapon toss there. The dodge was burned. Down Sig, Radish with a turnaround. Gets a down air. Oh, okay. Sig thrown out, right. but it doesn't go down. I was worried that Luna was going to give it way too much respect, that he was just going to kind of oh. hover there way below and end up not having enough to get over to the wall. But no, he's, I mean, he's locked in. He has a full stock lead here against Radish. The reverse three for Luna is very real. Yeah, he is just picking apart Radish right now here in game number four. Waits it out again. Just, come on. Not going to hit. It's not going to happen, dude. Except now that I say that, like, watch it happen to win the yeah, entire it's tournament. Yeah, win the tournament. Red. Like, if it does, like, okay. You prove me wrong. Like, you win that one. All right, I'll give that to you. Down line into the recovery. Yep. And Luna takes this one to game number five. He's getting fired up. Keep in mind, a victory in this next game for Luna only me why well, say only only means a bracket reset where luna would have to fight again and i just can never forget the history that happens once the player like comes back gets the reverse three ah everything's in his favor and then all of a sudden the player from the winner's side of the bracket switch flipped it's john wick time Game nobody five. is standing in three, my way two, with what one, i want brawl. We'll see if that happens here, or even if it has to happen, as we're here in game number five. The story still stands. Radish is three stocks away from being crowned the champion of the Winter Royale. Luna controlling the main stage. Radish kind of stuck in the air on the right side, and then he moves over onto the soft platform. Still, Luna in complete control of the main stage. Ooh, opening this one up huge. D-Light ground pound goes for the big ground pound to finish that one up. Didn't quite get it. The damage coming out from Radish. Luna manages to touch the stage, avoids the down air from Radish, but now we're starting to see those falling side airs. We're seeing the damage. Come back for Radish. Now has Luna in the orange after hitting that recovery, so they're essentially even a tail. Oh. Luna starts hitting that string, ends it with a neutral signature, and gains the stop. That is the first time any of the Lucians today have hit that. The sideline end has been attempted so many times, but finally it works, and Luna gets the stock advantage off of it and it's a big advantage he has under his belt. He's still in the orange. Radish, okay. oh, come on. That could spell curtains. He still was touched. sweating after he got hit by that. Oh, oh. Radish! Okay, I, I was really worried that he was gonna drop it, but I think yeah. Radish was paying much closer attention to Luna's inner movement economy than I was. I, Luna was so close to touching the wall with that neutral signature. Just didn't quite get it, but it does even up the stock count. Radish with those edge guards. Avoids the dare. He's back on stage. Luna's a little bit behind, but not too far. He keeps the string going. He's going to be adding that up, getting it exactly even between these two players in game five of the grand finals. Ooh, Rage kind of playing defensive here. And I'm not talking about the community manager, Brent. Yo, he's nervous, man. He knows the stress is here. He's getting taken out by the recovery. Luna, one stock away from getting the reset and wiping the board clean. Those two wins Radish got at the start of the set will not matter if Luna gets this next stock. Radish now in the gauntlets. Okay, the dodge is gone, but he gets away. Side air setting up in the edge guard. The dodge is gone. Oh, the final frames of that recovery making contact. Oh. Luna throughout that recovery very quickly expecting pressure oh. from Radish. That recovery not quite. That sent him so high. He's still going to be able to get back over to the wall. Reset his jumps. One exclamation point coming out. Two exclamation points coming out. And the third is not an exclamation point, but a side air from Radish. But it acts as an exclamation point on that second stock of Luna. One stock left each. This determines who will win or will we get a reset. Luna, recovery, recovery. Wants more damage, but Radish is finding damage back. 
not only does Radish have the weapon advantage, but the second weapon he picked up, I can't believe that didn't make contact, is the orb. Luna has the lead. Seeing those big slaps coming, forcing Radish over onto the edge. You're seeing the neutral airs coming out. Very safe move to throw out. Side and just a little bit of damage, ending it up with the side sig, getting the victory in game five and resetting the bracket. We got a reset. One more best of five. Luna versus Radish. No more games after this. The winner will be crowned the Winter Royale champion. And Luna just reverse three. Massive. Absolutely massive. After the first two games from Radish, we saw Luna pick up game three. And I was like, okay. That's probably going to be curtains. We've seen so many 3-1s happen that exact way in the grand finals. We build ourselves up for, oh, this is the comeback here. The reverse three starts now. And then it ends abruptly and curtains for the tournament. But no, Luna, he will not stop. He is persevering past everything. And he's wiping away any dirt and grime on his hands. He is locked in and ready to go. We've got a new best of five between the two of them. And this is really, it's its anyone's set. This is anyone's tournament. Radish, again, he won the Winter Royale. He has every right to claim the crown, but at the other side is Luna hot on the heels, just fresh off the reset. Oh, you see that side light side air playing on the replay in the background. It's a little bit rude showing showing Luna one of his L's <laughs> yeah, right? right behind him as he just got the victory. That's messed up. The production is brutal. You don't even want to know what they said to me before we started this block. Yeah, I, I'm surprised he was uh, so comfortable saying that in your ears. We there you see it three, on the screen. Two, Grand one, final four. reset. This is incredible. Luna persevering, not worrying about the mental. His mental is strong. We'll see if Radish is stronger as we get into game one of the Grand Finals reset. We know Radish can do it. The set count has at least one in favor of Radish. Even earlier, had two wins in favor of Radish, but it was Luna who ultimately won the set to get the reset. And now we're here, the final oh, set, and Luna's bro. not gonna touch the wall. Oh man, that is brutal. That is such an early stock loss and a very rough way to start this one. But Luna spawns back in, blasters coming out, the D-Light into the pivot neutral air. Gonna have to shake that one off. Falling Sarah getting damage put out, but Radish is still adding up damage. Downlight recovery, not gonna quite do it. Still wants oh, blasters. Okay. Not sure if he delighted the wrong way. Maybe that was a miss input, or maybe he might have expected Radish to be over there. It was certainly possible. But we're still Oh, that's still got rough. Movement. Still get hit by it, but it wasn't enough to take him out. Finds the side air to get the stock. Hopefully we see that trending downward graph again, where it takes a lot of damage for the first stock and then not so much for the rest. Luna trying to bring this one back. He gave away an early lead to Radish, but with the weapon denial, he's been able to get this one closer. Radish immediately throws away the gauntlets. He wants the orb and Luna knows it, so he's gonna deny the weapon pickup. Neutral air juggles, even oh. the GC sidelight. We are seeing some swagger coming out from Luna. I think he is feeling confident, even after that first stock loss, but he's gotta be careful. Gets caught by a recovery too high in the air, and that's gonna be the end of this punish. stock. Ooh, he tried to dash jump down there. Just just don't punish it. Like, just you just don't have to. <laughs> like, you don't have to do that. You can just, just let it happen. Just watch it, just watch it, yeah. appreciate the value, and then, and then watch, move on. Watch the fireworks in front of you and go, ooh, wow, pretty, man, and then, and then reset. Interesting option there from Luna. Went for the downlight side, or kind of the safer input option. He knew the damage was done. Generally, you see Blasters players, they're like, oh, I want to KO my opponent, downlight recovery. But Luna was like, all right, I know he's, he's got enough damage on him, and now he's got the lead. And he is extending it further. Oh my oh. gosh, even with that one, but no. The instant wake up ground pound from Radish. Maybe Radish was waiting. He was saying, yeah, hit me, hit me. I want you to hit me. And then all of a sudden the ground pound comes out, gets that stock. We are much more even in this game, but Luna is still not letting that lead go. 
That neutral light, sending Radish further into the orange. That side air, sending Radish into the red. He's not too damaged, so getting hit in the air. Whoa. Not a big thing, the neutral sig, not enough. Still wants the blaster, still wants the end sig. Luna puts another one under his belt, another feather in the cap. He's won four games in a row over Radish. 634 damage. That is 200 and uh, like 11 and a third per stock. I'm doing all mental math today. Yeah. I, I, I want everybody at home to really know on that. Point. It is exclusively mental math. I got a laptop in front of me. I got a, a phone in my lap. But it, no, it's all mental math. And there is the graph. Look at that middle stock from Luna. Dude, that's insane. That's like 70% of the game. I mean, he threw that first stock so early, it didn't even get very far. Like, you can see how short that first stock is. But he made up for it. He more than made up for it with that second stock. 415 damage put out on his blasters alone as well. Yeah, that's huge. You compare that to the gauntlets that Radish had in his hands, and they were not doing very much damage. It was 48. He did more Three, unarmed damage two, than one, he did roll. on the gauntlets. Meanwhile, he put out 247 on the orb, but that wasn't enough to keep up with the damage output from Luna, who is now up one game. Dude, if Luna gets the reset and gets the victory, that's that's incredible. I mean, that that's one way to solidify your spot as the best in the game right now. We'll see if he can do it. This is Miami Dome. I think this is the first time we've seen Miami Dome today. Uh, you might not be wrong. I don't know. Of course, we don't really know every stage that, that was played off stream in the command center. Whoa. Ooh. Pulled out of that one early, but still kept falling after it. Neutral light coming out from Raiders, swapping over to the orb. See the chase dodge coming out, turnaround side air from Luna. Doesn't make contacts, just that gonna be that side air from Radish. Okay. Doesn't actually throw out a move that time. He makes the move, but doesn't throw out the move. Yeah, didn't commit to anything beyond just trying to get in position, see if he can catch Radish going for an option off of that whiff. But Ooh. down light recovery, Luna gets another stock. Luna showing some of that swagger, the exaggerated swagger of a Lucian team coming out here as he down airs through that dodge of Radish. He goes back to the main platform, picks up the gauntlets. Now Luna is the player disarmed. Oh! Drops the D-Light ground pound, but still able to get over the weapon spawn. Tries to poke with those double side lights. Trying to get any damage that he can. Unfortunate whiff on that down light ground pound, but he's still got blasters. Playing that range game, utilizing those side lights, the longest range attack blasters got. Still trying to poke with that side light anywhere he can. Gets caught with the recovery off of the side light. Now we haven't seen Radish really going back to like the basic gauntlet, like side light and then the same side side light GC or side light the other direction GC side light. It's really only been the side light into the delay recovery. Yeah, that's kind of been his main tool and it's Partly because it's just like he gets all this damage with the orb and then he just needs to KO. So he's yep. just looking for the opportunity to get that hit, get that KO. Down sig thrown out. That's a burn dodge, but gets away from it. Luna just kind of chasing after Radish here. Has the blasters in hand. Beautiful down oh! air and the D light ground pound. Luna, what a lead for him here in game two of the reset. Might have missed the down light ground pound at the start of the second stock, but hits it to finish off the second stock. Final stock here for Radish in game number two. So much momentum on the side of Luna. And let's be real, if you're gonna miss one D-Light ground pound, it's the one when your opponent is in yellow. It should not be the one when your opponent is in the red or the late stages of orange. Falling Sarah, Radish waits, but doesn't hit the recovery, doesn't hit the side light. And Sig thrown out, Luna from below. Still finding hits onto Radish's stock. Still adding up the damage. Oh! oh! Look how deep he is in the push-off column to get that. I don't even think that's the push-off column anymore. You're in a new zip code all the way out there. There is so many columns between where he was in the push-off column, but he is now up big 2-0 in the final set to determine who will be the Winter Royale champion. Now it's on Radish to hit that reverse 
three. And here is where experience is really going to favor Luna because he has been in these grand final situations in an in-person event more than Radish has. He's also done it online as well, more than Radish has. So as the pressure mounts, it's going to favor Luna more, especially when Radish is looking at a no two. Now Radish has to be the one to hit the reverse three. He's got to do it. We'll see if he can. He's got the orb in hand. No down sig this time. Not going to the classics from Radish instead. He's trying to stick to the safe and simple. Trying to get away from Luna. Down oh, the two sig right over the edge. Doesn't get the D-Light the other way. Down oh. sig! And Radish is down to his second stock. Luna's very healthy right now. Still in the orange. Both of those weapons were in the air. He had his pick, went over to the blasters. Nice neutral light into the double Ooh. neutral air oh into the deck. Throw it out, moves too fast. I can't yes, even sir. say them all. Slow down. You're going too fast. The speed limit is much lower. And Radish is just trying to find some safety as Luna is running wild. Doesn't hit the side light. The neutral light's not even going to put him off screen. Of course he's gonna fall there. That's gonna be the first stock. He had so much damage added up there. Radish ended up catching that side air all the way close to that blast zone. Got the stock, but so much damage has been done on the second stock. Here comes the Katars for Luna. Is it going to be a side sig classic? Falling there, Luna throws away the, the Katars, wants the blasters. Is it gonna be the end sig? Oh, Is it gonna, gonna be the recovery? Punch. That was just a punish while Luna was in the white, so that wasn't going to be a huge swing one way or the other. It wasn't really going to put him in any major knockout potential, but the damage continuing to add up. Luna now in the orange. The D-Light side air picked that one up very on the edge. Luna probably didn't want to risk going for that recovery and missing it where he could secure the stock with a side air. One stock left. Luna has won the last five games in a row over Radish. But oh, bold play. Sick. He knows he can get the stock if he gets the big hit, but Luna with the edge guard. Luna sticking on the wall. Radish backing up, wants to swap back over to the orb. Thinks that is more valuable in his hands than attempting the edge guard against Luna. Doesn't get the punish, but he's in he's position. Not trying. He's just straight up not trying to punish it anymore. Thank you, Luna. I'm very glad. He'll just make the move over to see if there's an opportunity here for the very much delayed punish rather than the instant once the dodge has been burned and the move finishes. Ooh, Luna managed to get high enough to avoid the dare. Double recovery. Radish has taken damage. The Sair will finally do it. Final stock here for Radish. Can he take this to game four? That weapon spawn did come in pretty quickly. Oh, that one's going to come in quicker than I expected. And it's right to Luna, who now has Radish in the red. That was a burn dodge, though. Doesn't get the dare. Tried to go for the side air. Radish might have been expecting the D-Sig, but no, Luna didn't go for that. He did the recovery in the same direction of his attack. See if he switches it up. Oh! Next time, Daylight side air, and Luna is your Winter Royale champion. The last time he was here, he got to hoist the trophy. Once again, he gets to hoist the trophy. Luna is currently the best player in the world. Do we get to say that? Yes. That's what they all said. Literally, whoever wins the Winter Royale.